And a very good thing too, dear, I dare say. It might break up many a happy home if they did. Oh, not yours, I need hardly say, Gertrude. You have married a pattern husband. You are very late. Have you missed me? Awfully. Then I am sorry I did not stay away longer. I like being missed. How very selfish of you. I am very selfish. You are always telling me of your bad qualities, Lord Gorham. I have only told you half of them as yet, Miss Maple. Are the others very bad? Quite dreadful. You have lived so long abroad, Mrs. Cheveley, that you seem to be unable to realise that you are talking to an English gentleman. I realise that I am talking to a man who laid the foundation of his fortune by selling to a stock exchange speculator a cabinet secret. What do you mean? I mean that I know the real origin of your wealth and your career. A house bought with the price of dishonour. A house, everything in which has been paid for by fraud. Ask him what the origin of his fortune is. Get him to tell you how he sold to a stockbroker a cabinet secret. Learn from him to what you owe your position. It's not true. I have not yet finished with you, with either of you. I give you both till tomorrow at noon. If by then you don't do what I bid you to do, the whole world shall know the origin of Robert Chilton. An ideal husband? I don't think I should like that. 